Hey out there in YouTube land, it's another edition of Joe's Record Store, and uh, here's uh, some of my most recent arrivals, and I got a couple more on the way, and uh, so basically I'm going to be talking about three bands, Heretic, Voivod, and Riot, not Quiet Riot from LA, the New York City Riot. Okay, and the first one, this was a unique one that it's a very special find online with I got this from uh Girder Music. It's a uh promo single for the uh band Sacred Warrior, their debut album in uh 1988 Rebellion just came out. And uh, these are two uh cuts off the album that uh, they would send to, I guess potential distributors, Christian bookstores, record stores, radio guys, DJs, and uh, just to give you a little earful, and uh, this wasn't something that you could just randomly buy at the record store. These were you know, specifically made in a limited quantities for promotional purposes anyway, and uh, so... Just a simple black sleeve, 12 inch, one song on each side, uh, Sword of Victory. That's a really upbeat, heavy song, melodic song. If you like bands like Fifth Angel, Queen's Reich, you know, Fate's Warning. And I'm just trying to think of a couple off bath, like that really searing melodic metal with twin guitars, double heart, great heart leads and harmonies. I mean, a Sacred Warrior would definitely, you know, float your boat that way. And uh, also, uh, when I became a new believer way back when, you know, the Christian bookstore was a very common place for me to go. And, you know, I was just building my white metal collection. And uh, so, you know, one of the first tapes I had, besides Striper and White Cross and Guardian, was uh, yeah sacred warrior and uh, and actually i thought it was speed metal but you know it was just more like melodic metal still good though love it and uh just mainly a keepsake for the collection and uh right now i'm that bag is starting to get full so i just got started on another one for like the white metal stuff and then my not so christian records had uh and I have a third one, and I know when I take these back home to Panama, they're heavy, just like the last time. And uh, it's a file away in the archives. And I love getting these promo singles. You know, I got some striper ones. I got a white cross one, and uh, yeah. And this is a reissue from the legendary. All American hard rock slash heavy metal band Riot, originally released in 1977. Of course, they've been reissued, uh, you know, by uh, Metal Blade Records, except Narita, which came out in '79. Maybe they couldn't get the rights to it, or you know, they had to negotiate with uh, another label, and you know, they couldn't get the deal to the rights for Narita. But this one is just as good. And a lot of rock and roll boogie rhythms in it. And uh, great songs, great vocals. But uh might seem kind of tame now. But, you know, for 1977, this is a very intense, hard and heavy release. And there wasn't a specific heavy metal genre until, you know, when the British, new wave of British metal came later. Just like any kind of guitar heavy music would have been thrown in the heavy metal category. Even the radio rock like Foreigner or Argent, believe it or not, or you know, bad. But uh if you can imagine like uh you know Boston and Bad Company and Argent, but with more fortitude, more kick to it, great melodies and harmonies, this would be it. And then the second album after Narita, which uh, actually came out yeah, it came out in 79. Still on my want list. That one sounds, you know, better. But this one is pretty solid. Just classic, all-American, 
hard rock from New York. A definite New York City band. Like So I'm putting it away for now. And this is one of the classic thrash metal bands. You know, you know, growing up in you know the eighties and early nineties era and um when you know, mainly a lot of the attention was the big five of Thrash, Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, Slayer, or the big four. You know, I was more interested, I guess, the more lower tier, and I, I don't want to say lower tier, that, but uh, I found other Thrash metal bands more interesting. They had more power, more intensity, and uh, this was a reissue from Noise Records, which also released the classic albums from Creator. This is uh, a Voivod Killing Technology. And I remember like last January, I found a picture, 12-inch single of Voivod. I think it's from this era. And uh, yeah, it is. But this is a Killing Technology, their third album, I believe. And uh, I have another Voivod record. I have a couple more that will be on the way. That... Uh, Finally, I get to score this on vinyl. I mean, a total classic. I mean, I've been a fan of this band ever since, like, their debut, uh, War in Pain, when I got a hold of that. Just raw and abrasive. And uh, this band tends to go off the map, very, ex you know, especially for that point in time, very experimental. You know, a lot of high chords, a lot of minor keys, or deliberately going off key and... Uh, and uh, you know, tempo changes it threw you for a loop. And this is the kind of band that a lot of like the typical metalhead way back when, either they loved Voivod or they just thought the band was just you know sounded a little too weird, maybe too artsy for them. But yeah, and I liked it. Yeah. I mean, they really stood out. You know, definitely would not, you know, a cookie cutter Metallica wannabe that you know flooded the market back in the day. And um, French Canada, of course, the bands from French Canada tend to all usually have their own sound, you know. So, uh, so this is another piece of vinyl I got from Voivod, and I highly recommend the earlier albums that are more abrasive, like Roar and War in Pain, and uh, you'll see Roar in probably in the next video. That one's on the way, and uh, with Dimension Hatros, and. Uh, so here it is. Just Metal Le Québécois. And this is the band I've, I've been, a, you know, I'm, I'm glad they made a comeback and they started putting more music out again. Uh, the uh, I've been a fan of this band since I first heard the, uh, you know, Torture Knows No Bounds EP and on a, uh, Metal Blade Sampler, a friend let me borrow way back when. Like, what was it? The best of Metal Blade? But, uh, yeah, they were on it, and I really loved it. And uh, more like a, I won't say power metal, more like power speed metal. But you can also throw it in the thrash category. Cause, and um, so, but it's like they, they, they had an EP, and then they put out the, uh, the, Breaking Point album, which featured uh, Mike Howe, who later went on to Metal Church. That guy had an amazing voice, and I've given these things a, a play, at least online, you know, but uh, not the, uh, yeah, the records. And uh, so this is uh, this is was the comeback album, Time of Crisis, also available from Rocks Records or. Amazon actually I just bought it on Amazon because I think they were out on the rocks record site but uh, Yeah, just solid thrash metal just solid speed thrash metal and uh, features guitarist um, Glenn Rogers Yeah, Glenn and this guy has been in like the who's who of you know, underground California thrash bands, even Hyrax, Deliverance. He wrote music for the first Vengeance 
album, Revenge It's Rising album. So, great artwork. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this definitely, and this is a more recent release, a game you cannot win. This one's a double, which, uh, you supposedly, when it makes it sound better when you put it on a double instead of cramming them. They say it makes the sound quality better. And, um, Heretic Children of War, Facebook dot com. I mean, this one, I mean, I'm really looking forward to giving these a spin once I buy a proper turntable. Because, why? Because all my stuff is in Panama. So I'm just going to get like a you know, one of those, you know, goofy ass suitcase turntables and you know, just and give it a spin and, you know, just have some fun in my room. And uh, slowly but surely, this is becoming a man cave. It's, I'm definitely on a rebound since I, I left... Uh, Kansas City and uh you know economically more and just uh my as far as work is and living situation is so much better now and uh so I do not leave so the game you cannot win yeah so I'm gonna rearrange these later but uh I just wanted to pull them out to show you what I just got most recently and probably next week I'm I'll show you some more records that, uh, yeah, really worth talking about. And uh, both bands begin with a V. All right, rock on. Stay metal. Thanks for watching. Show's Record Store.